Oh, no, you guys need to get ready. Look, um, I know it's just a simple wedding here at the house, but I want my maid of honor by my side. You really mean that? It's not like she's got a million people busting down her door for the job. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Even if I did, I wouldn't want anyone else. Cole, it's me again. I thought that you would be off the phone by now. Can you please call me as soon as you get this? It's important. Hey, yeah, um, I, I was on hold. I, I would like to talk to a patient, um, Hannah O'Connor. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. Miss O'Connor doesn't have telephone privileges. All right, look, I, I know you have rules, but um, can't you just spend them this one time? I, I, I'm, I, I'm a friend. Rules are rules. But Hannah can't talk to you anyway. She's with her attorney right now. Writing that letter is the last mistake you'll ever make. What are you doing? Tying up a loose end. Well, now that you got it all figured out, you can go home. No. Not a chance. I'm gonna be here when Glenn calls. Is that Glenn? <gasps> That's a 617 area call. That's Boston. Okay, this is when we're gonna find out if Elijah Clark is Bennett Thompson. May I? Go ahead, do it. Thank you. So, Glenn, you recognize the guy in the photo? Is this John McBain? Is this Glenn? No, I'm sorry. Glenn can't come to the phone. Who is this? Lock the doors! Set the alarm! Call Sean, tell the bringers bazoo. Jack Manning, hold it! What is going on? Hello, Eli? Wake up some of the carnage, Ma. The dude is a killer. Okay, okay, okay. You don't have to do this. No, no, no. You You're saying that if anything happened to you, it was all my fault. Yeah, but nobody saw it. What's to prevent you from writing another one? I won't. I won't. Or from won't. stealing another phone and calling Cole or Ford again. Honestly, Hannah, Ford. Neither of them want anything to do with me. You don't have to worry about it. See, the thing is, I just don't think I can trust you to keep your big mouth shut anymore. You can. You can trust me. We're supposed I... to be partners, Hannah. An essential part of a partnership is trust. That's obviously time to end ours. No, please. What happened if that letter got now? Or if Cole or Ford had listened to you? Can you imagine what my life would be like if John McBain had the slightest idea of what I've been up to? This isn't Glenn. Who am I speaking with? My name is Perry. I work with Glenn at the Hall of Records here in Boston. Yeah, where is he? He's gone. Gone, gone where? The EMTs took him. He's dead. So we're here. I guess I should, I should go in. Why don't you take a breather first? Get your bearings. It's not gonna happen. I'm sitting in front of the Landview Family Planning Clinic, pregnant with either my boyfriend's baby or my sister's fiance's baby. Are you sure you want to do this now? Yeah, I'm sure. I have to do this. I have to get an abortion. We still have a few minutes before your appointment. Is there anyone that I can call for you? I mean, no, I don't want to get my mom involved, and can you imagine me telling Roxy, hey, I'm pregnant, maybe it's John's, maybe it's Brody's. Good point. You know what, if, if you don't want to stay, you, you don't have to. Hey, I would never let you go through this alone. I just thought that maybe there was someone else that you would rather have with you. Like who? Like John. Can you tell me what happened? Glenn just collapsed. He was dead before the EMTs even got him into the ambulance. He had this fax in his hand. It had your name on it. I thought I should call you and let you know. Yeah, what hospital did they take him to? Okay. Name of the officers at the scene? Just think. Okay. Thank you. What happened? Well... Glenn won't be IDing any photos anytime soon. He's dead. Dead? How? Let me guess. Heart attack. 
Well, now we don't need an ID. We know exactly how Glenn died. Bennett Thompson, a.k.a. Elijah Clark, killed him. Eli, a killer? I'm going to have to have a talk with your father about your sugar intake. All I had today were cheese sticks. Now, quick, where does Aunt Dorian keep her guns? Wait, wait, she doesn't have guns. She got rid of them so she could win of her elections. Look, come here, listen to me. While I'm away, Kelly's going to be in charge. She deserves you. But Kelly's no good in a fight. Well, she's all we got, okay? I'm only going to be gone a day. You're not listening. That's because Eli's a good guy. Will you still be saying that when he's trapping up our family into dog food? Oh my gosh, it's a good thing Eli doesn't have any dogs. That we know of. The stepfather and bad dad, too, had killer pugs. Jack Manning, I thought I told you not to watch R-rated movies like that. You did. That's why I had dad get it for me. Okay, you guys, come on, let's go, let's go. JP's almost here, you're not even dressed. <laughs> it's because I don't have anything to wear. Oh my god. I don't have anything to wear. Oh my god. Todd brought everything over from the palace. We'll find god. something yeah, to do. You're made of honor. Over a bunch of dresses and crap. And I didn't pick any of them out, so oh, don't worry thank about it. Thank God. On. Let's go. No, it wouldn't matter anyway. You guys would look good in wooden barrels. <laughs> huh? Let's go. I got a wedding to throw here. Can you let me see at least uh, have Hannah call me back? I'm sorry, that's just not possible. Can you uh, at least tell me how, how she's doing? I mean, is she okay? I've had occasion to speak to Hannah a few times. She's troubled, but she has a good heart. Yeah, you think so? Personally, I find it very difficult to reconcile the things that she's confessed to doing with a young woman I've gotten to know. Would you like to leave her a message? No. Thanks. I mean, honestly, Hannah, what choice have you given me? Look, I, I told you, okay? Writing that letter was a mistake. Yeah, and the phone call. It was stupid. I, I should have known better, but I learned my lesson, and I promise I'm going to stick to our agreement. Well, That's fine. With deals like this, three strikes and you're out. What are you going to do? Shoot me? The whole place will come running. How are you going to explain that? Now, where was that level-headed practicality when you wrote that letter? Oh, of course, I'm not going to kill you. <sighs> You're gonna kill yourself.